Well, hey there, everybody. I just want to give a big shout out to all the members that signed up, man. Really, it really touches my soul. Really, at the bottom of my heart, I really appreciate all y'all. Man, thank y'all so much. And if you haven't signed up, go right ahead and hit that little join button and just join in the family. So thank you so much once again. Y'all have a wonderful day or night and take care. Well, hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? Hope everybody's having a wonderful day or night. And welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe. All right, let's do another What's New in Transformers. Yeah. Love talking about new Transformers. Don't have them in hand. Just like to chit chat. So sit back, relax, grab your favorite beverage, get some popcorn, and let's just talk about some new Transformers. All right, all right, all right. All right, up first, as always, is add on kits, add on kits, add on kits for days. It looks like Matrix Workshop is working on something for Kingdom Galvatron and Tracks, and a little sneak peek of what they got installed for the future. So it looks like we're getting the gun, for the, you know, the toy version got his, you know, Galvatron got a gun for some reason. Don't know why he has a, you know, a cannon. So why would you need another gun? But, you know, to be more toy accurate, here you go. You get a gun for that. And with tracks, you get the uh, the uh, booster or the missile things on it that goes on his back and everything. And it also uh, fits on car mode as well. Looks pretty cool. You know, that's a little nice little accessory to add on. And now the future thing we got to talk about, it looks like Bug Bite, maybe, from the Generation Selects, is getting a, a little backpack. I remember the Classics version, they had a little sea do and it turned into uh, some, you know, rocket packs or something like that where you could fly. Well, that's what it looks like. So I guess they're making that for Bug Bite. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, we got something new from Galvatron, which he's getting his gun. We got Trax is getting his uh, rockets. And then we got Bug Bite is going to get a, like a... Uh, a jetpack or something like that so that's pretty cool so there's some matrix workshops there you got some stuff coming out for us so up next if you follow nomnef productions on twitter you got to see this it's the new sled for uh ratchet and ironhide from earthrise so you know in g1 they tried you had this little you know sled thing that had a weapon you know like a little rocket launcher and everything on it so nomnef is making this for your earthrise ratchet and ironhide it looks pretty cool uh, i never really ordered anything from nomnef before but I've heard some good things about them. So if you want to look at this up, this is on Non-Net Productions. You get a sled for Ratchet and Ironhide. That's pretty cool. Looks nice. It looks like Fun B Studios is added again. They put out a lot of stuff. Looks really neat. So here's the second in the Autopod series, a very destructive drilling station for the Decepticons. Similar to the early Autopod that starts off with a compact and generic pod, which opens up to become an evil energy extracting drilling station. Uh, here's the downward spacing drill portion ready to mine for minerals to convert into energy for hungry Decepticons. Uh, to the platform steady, a pair of short Cybertrack pillars can be slotted into the now upside down lid piece. Using a 5mm rubbing rubber tubing, the drill module can be connected to the main body of the drilling station too. So it looks pretty cool. Uh, like I said, Bunby Studios makes a lot of stuff and everything. Now you do have to join the Patreon and you can download their files and if you have a 3D printer, you can print them out yourself and everything. But yeah, some of the, most of the stuff they put out looks really, really high quality and looks really good stuff. So there you go. We got a new Autopod series. This is the drilling station for the Decepticons and it looks pretty cool. I like the colors on it too as well. So Fun B Studio. Well, all right, folks, that's all we have for add-on kit news. Let's move on to one of my favorite things, Legends. It looks like Mechanic Toy Studios is going to be working with Dr. Wu again, and we're getting an MS-30. This is Amy, and this, as you can tell, it is RC. So we're getting a small, small Amy. She's only going to be 9.8 centimeters tall, but, man, she looks really good. She comes with her pistol, and she also comes with a rifle. And, once again, she's going to be a shell former, just like she always is. But this looks really nice. I know it's just early, early prototype picks but i love both modes man the car mode looks really good it looks like earthrise rc and the bot mode looks really good too you know she does have a little backpack going on but really to be honest it looks pretty good it collapses you know very well and it doesn't really look that big so i'm liking it i'm sure they're going to make a you know somebody's going to make an add-on kit for it to take that backpack off to make it a little smaller but this amy looks really good so once again 9.8 centimeters tall she could be short but i like it i've got a, a couple of the Dr. Wu stuff and they're really good so really looking forward to Amy so there we go they're making RC uh, and Mechanic Studios or Mechanic Toys or Mech Fans Toys whatever you want to call them that week is uh, collaborating with uh, Dr. Wu so really good and then up next we have New Age Toys and I know this is going to be a shocker but we're getting recolors and retool or not retools but just recolors of uh, their 
Bumblebee and Cliffjumper. This is Herbie and Vanishing Point, and this is the translucent version. So you know I'm excited for this, but man, I'm not excited to transform these little things because they're really small, and with the translucent plastic, oh, they're going to be a pain in the butt to transform. But I know it's a shocker that we're getting this, but hey, there you go. We got uh, H25T Herbie and H26T Vanishing Point. We're getting translucent uh, bumblebee and cliff jumper and i'm so excited they look so lickable and just like little jolly ranchers mm. and guess what folks i know once again shocker we're getting gold versions of the herbie and vanishing point so man they new age really knows how to milk a mold but hey they're really great molds so yeah we're getting h25g herbie and h26g vanishing point now the gold ones are really nice they use a great paint and everything so it looks like the legs are not going to be painted i kind of wish they would have painted those but like i said they're going to be a pain in the butt i guarantee you they're going to scratch up the paint when you try to transform them but once again they look pretty and i like the gold versions as well so h25g herbie h26g vanishing point gold versions of bumblebee and cliff jumper man i wonder what else they could do with new age i think they're going to do shattered glass as well or they already did shattered glass and they got the zombie one and my gosh so many the possibilities well all right folks that's all we have for legends let's move on to mp scale third party news and speaking of gold it looks like five lucky fans on july 15th will be able to win this king toys land bull all in gold as well only five made wow so yeah they're doing a drawing on july 15th of 2021 and you know five lucky fans are gonna get this lucky draw kind of a uh, chain to or king toys land bull so if you like you know the predacons this looks really nice i, I wish i could be uh, have a chance to have you know to win this but yeah that's overseas so there you go we're getting a golden cow came from out of uh land bull and yeah it looks really nice man god leave i know nobody's going to transform this damn thing but yeah, if you're one of the five lucky people to get this thing, real congratulations. It looks really good. So there you go. Golden Land Bull, and uh, five people are going to get it. So I came across this kind of a mech tech kind of thing going on. This is Forging Soul. This is called Tank Soul. This is 160th scale, and it looks pretty cool. It's nice. I love the green and the red. It looks really nice. It's got a little human figure that fits into it. Uh, it turned into like a robot and then like a tank kind of thing going on. But like I said, it's kind of a, like a mech tech thing. But it looks really good. I've never heard of this company. I've never really, you know, looked into it or anything. But yeah, if anybody knows anything, hit me up in the comments and tell me what, uh, you know, if their stuff is any good. If anybody has any of this stuff, so it looks really good. So forging soul, tank soul. Like I said, it's one sixtieth scale, and it looks like its uh, armor is going to be about fifteen centimeters high, and it's quit, equipped with electromagnetic, electromagnetic rail guns, anti-aircraft missiles, machine guns, and other equipment. So it's, it, you know, it's badass looking, man. It's, it's you know, got a lot of weapons. It's packed and everything. So really cool. So Forging Soul, Tank Soul, it, yeah, looks really cool. If you like this kind of thing, there you go, man. And up next, we got KFC. They got P-15 Grand Rajan. Uh, this is their Power Master Optimus Prime Super Genra armor color sample. Uh, this is a trailer for their P-14 Raja robot. Uh, the trailer can transform into battle base and the ma main body can take there on the power master optimus prime super genra which has two different display configurations g1 comic or g1 toy style masterpiece scale cars fit inside the trailer as we can see from the images it will also include four inter interchangeable faces one of them destroyed optimus face from the g1 uh, marvel comics so that's pretty cool they threw a little nod with the comics and everything uh, you can pre-order it from other you know sites like chosen prime bbts tf source toy dojo all those stuff and everything so there you go yeah we got some new stuff from kfc and this is a p15 grand rajan and it, it's their power master optimus prime super genra armor color samples all right good stuff and now we also got something from studio cell we got the recolor of their unicron this is p-01 pumpkin it kind of looks like a pumpkin i don't know if these are the final colors because i don't remember him being that you know gray or anything like that so this might be an early prototype pick i don't know for sure but this is a new uh studio cell p01 pumpkin and this is a recolor of their unicron they already put out earlier of uh, last year i think or the year before so there you go pumpkin 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 
And now we got some new stuff from Toy Wolf. Now they're the ones that make like the toilet and the urinals and stuff. And I have both of them and they're really, they're really great transformers to be honest. They're great novelty little things. Uh, but now they're making this little doggy thing and it turns into like a weapon or a, a kind of a missile launcher kind of thing. Looks pretty cool. So you can add on uh, the toilet or let, I'm sorry, that's the urinal uh, that you can just add on to him and it can, turns into like a little base and it has rockets and you can put the big old gun and it looks pretty cool. I like Toy Wolf. I'm waiting for their uh, cat litter thing or something. They got like a kitty cat that turns into a litter box. <laughs> it's just weird, but they're really nice stuff and everything. So yeah, I highly recommend Toy Wolf. And here you go. They got a, a doggy artillery thing. So there you go. Toy Wolf. They're still around. I love it. And up next is going to be Devil Savior. And if y'all don't know by now, they're making the uh, Constructicons or Devastator from the Bayverse. And it looks like this one is Landslip. And they had to make some modifications. So they're showing before and after pics. So I guess, uh, I don't know what happened, but something went wrong. And they had to go back and modify some stuff. So we got a bunch of before and after pics for that. And we also see some new images of Sweeping. So this is their next two that's going to be coming out. And this is the Boing, Boing, Boing. Remember that in uh, Dark of the, or Revenge of the Fallen? He's the one that, you know, was talking to Sam and stuff about, you know, here's the, I need the Matrix or something. I forgot. But anyways, he's a bulldozer and he turns into the uh, leg and foot. And it also looks like one of them is coming with mudflat and skids. And they're going to be like five centimeters tall. They're going to be really short. They're not going to be transformable. They'll just be little, you know, figurines. But that's pretty cool nod to throw them in. So there you go. You're getting also uh, skids and mudflap uh, with one of these guys, I guess. And speaking of Devil Savior, we also see the combined mode. This looks, you know, it looks good, I guess. If you, know, if you want to say Devastator, he looks like a crouching dog or something. But there you go. They're, they are all combined that is going to be a huge, huge piece. I have two of them. I don't know if I'm going to finish the set or not, but that looks like a bunch of just, you know, Transformers stuck together. There you go. That is Devil Savior's Devastator put together. This is from the Bayverse. Rawr. And we got new stuff from Transcraft. This is the Red Jump. This is their Clip Jumper, which is going to be a retool of their Bumblebee, but still the same vehicle. But he was not that vehicle in the movie, so... Uh, I don't know. Uh, I did, you know, Transcraft Bumblebee was pretty cool. Um, I think I have it. Uh, I, had, I had tons of the, that Bumblebee, so I have to go back and look if I even have Transcraft. But this one doesn't look terrible. I like the head scope. looks really nice. Um, the chest looks really good. It looks like it's got some great paint and, you know, some sculpt work in there. looks like it's going to be dirty and everything. So, uh, But the alt mode, you know, it's going to be the, you know, the Volkswagen B, but our, our, I just don't know. I don't know why they made it like that. But... There you go. This is Transcraft. This is Red Jump. This is our Cliff Jumper from the Bumblebee movie. And we got some new stuff from MMC. This is their R-49 Ventus. This is their rung. And it looks like we got some color prototypes of their painted heads. And we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven heads on this guy. And we also see the scooter in the same color scheme and everything. It looks really good. I love the orange and red and kind of that uh, greenish kind of a color. I like that. So I'm really excited for rung. I'm definitely going to get him. So we got new stuff from MMC R-49 Ventus, also known as rung. Got a little scooter. Scoot, scoot. All right, so I came across this stylized Optimus Prime, and he looks really good. I think the name of the company is Nako Make. I don't know if anybody's ever heard of those. Uh, this company hit me up in the comments. This looks like a kit, too. I think it's, you have to build this, and this thing looks really spectacular, man. The detail and sculpt work on this thing. Look at that gun. The paint is really nice. It's kind of got that dirty look to it as well. I like this thing, man. It looks like it's going to be a hard build, though, but... Man, if it's a kit and you can build this and it looks like that and someone can paint it like that, jeebus. So this is, I think, is Nako Make, and this is kind of a style I talked to as Prime, but man, it looks really freaking awesome. Yeah, hit me up in comments, tell me if anybody knows about this. And it looks like we're finally getting Trailbreaker from Fans Toys. This is FT-25 Outrider, and they have made some changes. And we are also getting Hoist, so that's pretty cool. If you missed out on Trailbreaker, I do have the X-Transbot one. I like it. It's pretty good, but I'm definitely going to check this guy out. I don't have a hoist in the P-Scale, so I definitely need this one. So this is FT-25 Outrider, and they did make some changes, and we do see some uh, comparisons. I want to thank, thank Third Party Unlimited, my boy Antoine. He does these comparison things. They're really good. It's where I get most of my pictures from. But yeah, we got some comparison with, uh, it looks like MMC, and we got X-Transbots, and we got Bad Cube as well. 
So there you go. We got new stuff from Fans Toys. They're finally, you know, ramping up and we're getting some stuff from them. And I'm really excited for that. So yeah, that looks good. I like the hoist. It looks really nice. I'm definitely in for hoist. Uh, I may try, I, like I said, I may check out the fans, uh, the Trailbreaker one, but uh, we'll see. I only had the X-Trans Bot one, and I like that one. So there you go. Fans Toys, they're coming back. All right. Good stuff. I'm excited. And then I saw this. It looks pretty interesting. This is Psy Figure Industries. Don't know the name of this. Is a, It looks like a Finbot. It looks like she transformed into a helicopter. You can see the blades on her shoulder. And I love that weapon. It looks really good. Early prototypes of this. I have no idea who's making this. Like I said, it's sci-fi sci figure or something like that. I have no idea who that is. I don't know if that's a new company or if they even do Transformers. But I look like they're starting right now. So this looks like a Finbot helicopter. And looks pretty cool. I like it. I love that weapon too as well. So there you go. Don't know the name of her yet. But looks pretty good. Well, all right, folks, that's all we have for MP third party news. Let's move on to official. And man, want to talk about some nerds crying? This is what happens. Ron Perlman is going to voice Optimus Primal and not Gary Chalk. And I was one of those guys. I think it was a slap in the face. They should get Gary Chalk and David Kay. They should get all of the Beast Wars, vo Beast Wars voice actors, Scott McNeil, all of these to voice the Beast Wars in the new upcoming Rise of the Beast Transformer movie. Nothing against Ron Perlman. I think he's a great actor. I love watching his stuff. Hellboy was really good. But I just, you know, it's Gary Chalk. He is Optimus Primal. And like I said, I was doing a live thing with Kato's toy collection. Check out his channel. It's really good. It's just a slap in the face. I mean, you really have these actors that are still, you know, voice actors still around that still can do their jobs. And they do a great job because that is Optimus Primal. You know, so I think it's just, I think it's a bad move. Still going to watch the movie, but, you know, I'm still upset that they really need to get Gary Chalk. They've really screwed, you know, the Beast, War, uh, Beast Wars voice actors over because they didn't have them in Kingdom. And it's just, man, come on now. You know Optimus Primal is Gary Chalk. So, man, I really hope that maybe they, you know, swing them in there. You know, my, you know, I don't know. But this was yeah i was really upset with this and you know like i said nothing against ron perlman uh, like i said he's a great actor but gary chalk is optimus primal so what do y'all think man hit me up in the comments are y'all you know don't care are y'all you know happy that ron perlman's getting it or are y'all upset that gary chalk didn't love to hear what y'all say man there you go ron perlman is going to be optimus primal and rise of the beast it looks like we got some new in hand images of Studio Series Deluxe Jolt and Revenge of the Fallen Sideswipe. Yeah. Jolt seems to be all new movie accurate mold complete with his whips. Sideswipe, on the other hand, is a retool of the line's previous Dark of the Moon Deluxe Sideswipe. No release dates, details on this, but keep an eye out and we'll definitely keep you updated. Looks really good. I like both of them. I love the car modes. Uh, I'm finally, we're you know definitely getting a jolt. That's pretty cool. And I, you know that side swap is a nice uh, transformer as well, especially for the studio series. So there you go. New in hand in hand images of jolt and side swipe. So we got some great new picks last week of the Transformers and Jurassic Park project. They're coming, you know, they're collabing together, and it looks really good. So we got Trinocon Rex, confirmed to be a female Transformer, and she is going to be a redeco and retool of Kingdom Leader Megatron, and with a new head sculpt, which looks really good. We talked about that once again. I was live on with Kato, and we were talking about that. That head sculpt looks really good. Looks like Grimlock, definitely. So they definitely could, you know, do a recolor of her and uh, make them a Grimlock and everything so new head sculpt then we got autopot jp93 which looks like to be a new mold now a lot of people were speculating that it could be a you know a new skins you know later on down the line which it could still be uh they said maybe it looked like jazz from the 86 studio series and they were just throwing out everything because the way the tires fold in on top of him and he's got the wing doors and stuff which jazz didn't have that so i mean this could be a new mold I don't know for sure, but it looks good. I like it. It looks really nice. It, look, it screams so 90s. I love the T-Rex. It looks so good. I love the, the brown, how it fades into a darker to the lighter. That looks so good. I love the shotgun. I love the the hat that on uh, the JP393. That look, that's a nice little nod. I like that. So this is a great one. I already have it pre-ordered. You can pre-order yours. It, you know, like I said, it is a Ford Explorer. It looks so good. So yeah, I'm really excited for this. It is $104. Kind of expensive, but we were talking about it, and I can understand it's a leader class, and then I think that is going to be a deluxe. I think some people were saying it's a Voyager 
but we'll see. But yeah, it looks good and I can't wait for it to come out. And it looks like we have some new images of Transformers Studio Series SS-76 Thrust from the Bumblebee movie and was found in the Philippines. So we got the new box art for it as well. It was spotted in Toys R Us and yeah, it looks really good. I love the mold. I love the star screen and they retooled it to look like a cone head. I thought that's pretty cool. So yeah, new images of Transformers Studio Series SS-76 Thrust and he is from the Bumblebee movie and man, they're going to retool and recolor the crap out of this mold <laughs> as always. Seekers galore. All right, and real quick, it looks like Hasbro PulseCon 2021 is going to be announced for the fall. Although no specific date has been provided yet, hopefully this will uh, we'll finally see the official reveals of many figures that have been leaked out over the past few weeks and months. Optimus Prime head is displayed on the graphic they provided, and with a new movie just announced, we expect Transformers to be prom prominent focus indeed. So hopefully we might see some new Transformer figures for the movie. That would be pretty cool. So sometime in the fall, we're getting PulseCon 2021. No date yet. Yet, but um, I'll keep you up to date when I get some you know information so there you go PulseCon 2021 coming in in the fall and we also got a first look at Kingdom Wave 4 artwork so we got Shadow Panther looks really nice Waspinator excited for him Tigertron Slammer and Pipes so they look really good I love the artwork man so really nicely done so there you go we got the first look at Kingdom Wave 4 artwork of Shadow Panther Waspinator Tigertron Slammer and Pipes all right and up next we got new images of Cyberverse Adventures Warrior Dead End revealed Dead End in here is shown only in robot mode no vehicle images yet uh, so we'll have you know no release details either but keep out an eye and we'll definitely you know keep you updated so if you're still collecting Cyberverse here you go we got Dead End and you know looks all right looks fine so the Transformers Cyberverse will be continuing on a brand new animated adventure in November on Netflix. If you've never seen the show before, you can catch up on the first two seasons on Netflix. Uh, and that's pretty cool. So if you have, if you have to become a fan, definitely check this out. And they have a new four pack, which was revealed. And it has a uh, Buzzworthy Bumblebee four pack of warriors, including Optimus, Bumblebee, Megatron, and Starscream. I do have the Star Cream. You know, Cyberverse is fine. You know, they are for definitely for kids. But, you know, if you like this kind of thing, there you go. You get a new four pack from the Buzzworthy Bumblebee. And yeah, Bumblebee's everywhere. <laughs> Still speaking on Cyberverse, Dinobots Unite, Will Jack, and Grimlock two pack images. So these figures combine, just like remember in Energon, you got the pants and you got the upper body. And the single robot name is Will Grim. Will Jack forms the legs while Grimlock becomes a torso. Wow, this is. Wow, I have no idea. I have no words for this thing. Yeesh. Well, there you go. If you like this kind of thing, Dinobots Unite, Will Jack, and Grimlock two pack images. And wow. Hey, it looks like Super 7 Reaction Transformers Way Forward was revealed. And we're getting Fallen Leader Optimus Prime, Galvatron, King Starscream, and Hot Rod. So this is way uh, focuses on the movie from the 1986 with four new characters. Uh, the reaction figure stand about three and three fourth uh, inches tall. Uh, features five points of articulation and come packaged in a colorful retro style backing card. They are expected to release in September 20 uh, September 29th of 2021 for about $18. You can find these in Target. I'll definitely get that King Star screen. Yeah, the Galvatron looks pretty good too as well. So there you go. New stuff from Super 7 Reaction Transform. We got more in-hand images of Red Alert from Kingdom and we got comparison shots with the Siege and I think he has also been released in Canada. So if you're up in Canada, yeah, you get this guy. So we got some new pics of the uh, Kingdom Red Alert. And once again, I love the Earth mode. Looks really good. I'm more leaning towards the Siege. I love the, you know, the futuristic car kind of thing going on. So there you go. New stuff from uh, Red Alert. In-hand images. We all love those. Like I said, in Canada, in EB Games, they're exclusive up there. You have a chance to get these right now. So that's awesome. And now we got in-package images. All right. In-hand package images that's what you call it so this is i just talked about jolt and we got bumblebee and the sweep it looks like so the studio series revenge of the fallen deluxe jolt dark of the moon deluxe bumblebee and transform the movie board your sweep i'm really excited for sweep but the only thing i really could notice the difference is the hands and it might be the lighting but it might be a different color as well that's like a lighter blue or something from the original scourge I don't know. So I really was hoping for a new head sculpt. That really, that sucks, Hasbro. If you can't give us a new head sculpt with the sweeps to tell the difference between, you know, him and Scourge, come on now. But like I said, the only thing I see really the difference is the hand. And it's, you know, close fit or open fist, whatever. But 
man, come on now. Now the Jolt looks good. I'm happy for that. Dark of the Moon Deluxe Bumblebee, eh, you know, whatever. It's another Bumblebee. But, man, the sweep, I was really hoping for more. So there you go. In-hand package images of Studio Series Jolt, Bumblebee, and the sweep. Well, all right, folks, that's all we have for news this week. And, man, there was a lot of news. And like I said, I will keep you updated. You know, check back once in a while on the What's New in Transformers. I try to do at least two a week, one or two or something like that. But I love doing these. So I'm definitely excited for all this stuff, man. The RC from Dr. Wu looks really good. I'm excited for that. The New Age, you know, the clear transformer of uh, Cliff Jumper and Bumblebee and the gold. I'm looking forward to that. I wish I could get that gold uh, Land Bull from Kang Toys. That would be so nice. The MMC Rung looks good. You know, Devil Savior. There's a lot of great stuff coming out, man. So hit me up with some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go ahead and hit that sub button for me if you don't mind. Hit me up with some comments. Tell me what you're excited for. Are you excited for any of this stuff? You gotta be if you're a Transformer fan. Come on now. So I guess I'll see you on the next What's New in Transformers. And as always, be good to yourself. Hell Hasbro. And good night, folks. And happy July 4th. I hope y'all have a great, safe weekend. Ex you know, excited about the fireworks and the cookout and everything barbecue uh, uh, uh. so be safe out there all right take care